Hi, this is Matt Whitmer from Brody Precision. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Loitec LOB585 IP controller. This controller can be used in a unitary or terminal unit style control. And because it's IP based, we've got two Ethernet ports here at the top. And we've also got our power input, this takes 24 volts AC and DC. We've got five digital outputs, these are triax at 500 milliamps. We've got our pressure taps, which are definitely useful in a terminal unit control situation. Uh, and these will work from zero to two inches of water column. We've got six universal inputs, two USB ports, and these are used with accessories from Loitec. Things like a cellular modem, an Inotion radio, and a Wi-Fi radio. Then we also have two analog outputs that do zero to 10 volts. And then we have an RS-485 connection, as well as an MP bus connection. And that's uh, helpful if you're using this in a terminal style where you're going to be connecting to actuators. You can see these, are, these two are stacked. All the ports uh, on the connectors are labeled uh, to match up with the labeling that's on the actual controller itself. Now, the first thing you probably noticed when you saw this controller is that it has an LCD on the front. This LCD uh, displays a wide variety of information. Right now we're on the default home screen. Uh, because this controller was just taken out of the box, um, it's gonna show us uh, the name of the device and the model of, de of the device. This name will change depending on what you call this controller, whatever it's controlling uh, in your program that you download to it. It'll give us our status for our IP connection. I've just got one Ethernet port plugged in here, so it's giving me that IP address. We have the ability to get into I.O. and see what the status and override those. Uh, we'll do that in a second. And then we can see the CPU usage, our voltage that's coming into the controller, temperature of the controller itself, and then we have the ability to access uh, data points and change settings such as IP address and things like that directly from the display. So the first thing that we'll take a look at is our I.O. So we use the wheel here to move around in the menus and we press it in to select and you can see this is our our view when we're looking at the I.O. Uh, we have little icons for everything on the screen so you can very quickly see what's happening without having to jog the wheel to get to a specific input or output. So uh, just for demonstration's sake, I'm going to jump up here to DI or DO1. And right now it's telling me that it's open uh, and what terminal it's on. Uh, when you have this programmed, you'll notice that that DO1 at the top there will change to be the name of whatever it is that that DO is, is set for in the program itself. So I'm just going to go and tap the uh, wheel and go into manual mode. And now I can turn it. And you can see now I'm overridden. My light here for status changed to red. And I can see that the, the icon actually changed as well uh, to open because I had it in open. Now if I turn the wheel again, now I'm in closed. And you can see that icon changed to close. And we have an M there to signify that we're in manual control. And if I press and hold, I can go back to auto. And that is about it for the I.O. section of the controller. Uh, the LCD itself, um, this is all sort of out of the box stuff. It, it, you don't have to do any setup to make this work. And now if I go back, I can jog through here to the next piece, which is this folder icon, which gives us the ability to see all the data points that are in the controller. Like I said before, this controller hasn't been downloaded. It's right out of the box. So the only thing that I have access to right now is the system registers, which gives me things like uh, system time, CPU load, RAM, temperature, voltage, that kind of thing. And to navigate around, anytime you want to leave a section that you're in, you just navigate back up to the top. It'll highlight it, and then you tap, and then you, you go back. I'll do that again. And now we'll go into settings. And now in settings, this is really helpful uh, when you're doing an install or, or moving devices around or if networks change, things like that. Uh, because in device management, you can set your IP address settings yourself. You don't have to plug into the device to do that. Uh, you just go in and select that Ethernet network. You could turn off the DHCP if you wanted to set a static. Um, that's all available to you directly from the display. So 
that about does it for the uh, basic hardware overview unboxing of this LIOB 585 controller. Uh, we'll have many more videos on Loitech's uh, family of devices and many other devices. So uh, be sure to subscribe on YouTube at Brody Precision and on BPTechCenter at BPTechCenter.com. Thanks.